Hello, Alachua County. Captain Chris Sims with the Public Information Office of the Alachua County Sheriff's Office. And we want to provide you with a week in review. We start in the early morning hours of Tuesday, June 20th, when deputies identify a 2014 white Buick LaCrosse traveling in the area of 1300 East University Avenue that was believed to be a vehicle stolen from the Northwest Gainesville area earlier in the week. Deputy Miller located the vehicle in the parking lot of Food Max, which is at 1304 East University Avenue. And after speaking with witnesses, he identified that Ronald Clark III was the driver and lone occupant of the vehicle. Deputy Miller confirmed the vehicle to be stolen and additional deputies arrived to assist with processing. While on scene, Clark was seen attempting to flee the area on his getaway bicycle, but was quickly stopped and apprehended by Deputy Miller. Back at the vehicle, deputies conducted a search where they located 12 grams of a synthetic cathinone, which is an illegal narcotic. Clark was arrested and charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle and trafficking in 10 grams or more of a synthetic cathinone. Now, if you thought that Clark was the only person in Alachua County who enjoys playing the real life grand theft auto, unfortunately, you'd be sadly mistaken. We take you to our next incident from the night of Friday, June 23rd, when a citizen called to report that a recent house guest was attempting to steal his vehicle. Deputies responded to 3613 Northwest 84th Drive, where the caller reported that Stephen Shaw was actively trying to steal his vehicle, while a friend of the victim was struggling with Shaw. Deputy Altman and Deputy Sapunjif arrived on scene, where they observed Shaw inside of the driver's seat, and he was being restrained by the victim's friend. Shaw was immediately detained, and after investigation into the incident, Shaw was charged with burglary of an unoccupied conveyance and attempted grand theft of a motor vehicle. Our last incident takes place at the Dollar General in Newberry, where a citizen called in to advise that an intoxicated male was inside of the store carrying a handgun inside of his waistband that was believed to have an extended magazine. Deputy Pai arrived on scene where he identified a male matching the description provided by the caller who was standing next to the ice machine outside of the business. The male, who was later identified as 18-year-old Edwin Daniels, saw Deputy Pai's patrol vehicle and began walking away from the ice machine and back toward the entrance of the store. Contact was made with Daniels where it was found that he possessed an extended handgun magazine within his rear pocket that contained 27 rounds of 9mm ammunition. Daniels did not have a handgun on him, so Deputy Payne began looking around the ice machine where Daniels was last seen standing. Deputy Payne located a tan Taurus semi-automatic handgun that had been recently discarded behind the ice machine, which matched the caliber and color of the magazine found in Daniels' pocket. We should probably clarify that Daniels has been adjudicated as a delinquent due to a previous charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Daniels was arrested and charged with carrying a concealed firearm by a Florida delinquent, as well as possession of ammo by a Florida delinquent. Sheriff Watson, as well as all of the team here at the Alachua County Sheriff's Office, wants to commend our deputy sheriffs who are out there day in and day out, dedicated, uh, providing courageous service uh, to you, the citizens. And we also want to thank you as the citizens for calling and providing information that has led to these arrests and to getting these suspects off the street. Until next time.